In this video, we're diving deep into the world of hacking. Disclaimer. This video is strictly for educational purposes. The goal here is to raise awareness and give you the knowledge to protect yourself. If you're into cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or just want to stay ahead of the digital game, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more CyberWorld YT content every single week. Let's get into it. Before a hacker even thinks about writing a single line of code, they're hitting the books, or in this case, the code repositories. Platforms like GitHub are treasure troves of open source hacking tools. Think of it like studying the blueprints of a classic car. Hackers analyze these tools to understand what's effective, what's outdated, and most importantly, what leaves a trace. They want to know how these tools work, how they're detected, and how to improve upon them. It's about understanding the fundamentals before pushing the boundaries. Once they've got a solid understanding of the current landscape, they start building their own tools, cleaner, more efficient, and most importantly, harder to detect. A few years ago, Python was the go-to language for hacking tools. It was easy to learn, versatile, and had a massive library of pre-built modules. But in 2025, the game has changed. Hackers are prioritizing stealth and speed, and that means adopting new languages. We're talking about languages like Rust, Go, Golang, and even going back to the roots with C slash C++. These languages are compiled, meaning they're converted directly into machine code that's much faster and more efficient to execute. This allows hackers to create tools that have a smaller footprint, making them harder for antivirus software to detect. Rust, for example, is gaining popularity for its focus on memory safety and speed. Go is another favorite for building network-based tools, thanks to its built-in concurrency features. And then there's C slash C++, the granddaddies of programming languages, offering unparalleled low-level access to system hardware. Gone are the days of generic, one-size-fits-all hacking scripts. Today's hackers are crafting bespoke tools tailored for specific targets. These custom payloads are small, modular pieces of code that adapt to the target environment. They can detect things like the operating system, antivirus software, internet connection status, even the time of day. This adaptability makes these payloads incredibly difficult to detect. Traditional security measures might flag a generic script, but these custom payloads blend in, making them appear almost legitimate. This approach not only increases the chances of a successful attack, but also makes it incredibly difficult to trace the attack back to its source. The most effective hacking tools in 2025 are masters of disguise. They don't act like malicious software at all. Instead, they mimic the behavior of legitimate programs, making them almost invisible to traditional security measures. These tools inject their code into legitimate system processes, hiding in plain sight. They run silently in the background, avoiding any suspicious activity that might trigger alarms. They're careful not to make any sudden or unusual API calls, blending in with the normal flow of data. Modern endpoint detection systems rely on identifying anomalous behavior, but these tools are designed to fly under the radar. This level of sophistication makes them incredibly difficult to detect and even harder to remove. In the world of hacking, a loud and obvious attack might grant you temporary access, but it won't last long. That's why today's hackers are obsessed with stealth. They understand that the longer a tool remains undetected, the more damage it can inflict. They're building tools that leave absolutely no trace of their presence. Think self-destructing messages, but for code. Once these tools have achieved their objective, they erase themselves from the system, leaving no logs or evidence behind. To communicate with the attacker, these tools utilize encryption methods so sophisticated that they're practically unbreakable. And to further enhance their stealth, they employ multi-stage payloads. This layered approach makes it incredibly difficult for security researchers to understand the full scope of an attack. Artificial intelligence is no longer a futuristic concept. It's here, and hackers are already integrating it into their tools. Imagine a hacking tool that can think for itself, learning and adapting to its environment in real time. These AI-powered tools can automatically scan networks for vulnerabilities, identifying weaknesses that traditional tools might miss. But it goes beyond just finding vulnerabilities. These tools can analyze the target system's defenses, learning how to avoid detection, and even predicting the actions of security professionals. It's like playing chess against a grandmaster, 
who can see five moves ahead. And as these tools gather more data, they become even more intelligent, constantly refining their tactics and improving their chances of success. This creates a terrifying scenario where security professionals are constantly playing catch-up, trying to outmaneuver an adversary that's always one step ahead. Distinguishing between a real user and a bot used to be relatively simple, but hackers are now developing tools that blur those lines, making automated attacks appear completely human. These tools are programmed to mimic human behavior with incredible accuracy. They don't just blast through actions like a robotic script. They click, scroll, and navigate websites just like a real person would. They introduce random pauses and delays, mimicking the natural rhythm of human interaction. This makes it incredibly difficult for security systems to differentiate between legitimate user activity and a sophisticated automated attack. Social engineering, the art of manipulating people into giving up sensitive information, is as old as time itself. But in the digital age, hackers are taking it to a whole new level with fake graphical user interfaces, or GUIs. Imagine receiving an email that looks exactly like it's from your bank, complete with their logo, branding, and even a familiar web address. You click the link, expecting to be taken to your account login page, but instead, you're greeted with a pixel-perfect replica, a fake GUI designed to steal your credentials. These fake GUIs are often indistinguishable from the real deal. This level of sophistication is incredibly effective at tricking even the most tech-savvy users. Once a hacker has infiltrated a system, they need a way to communicate with it, to send commands and receive data. But traditional communication methods are easily detected and blocked. That's why today's hackers are turning to covert channels that operate beneath the surface of the Internet. One popular method is using encrypted messaging platforms like Telegram. Hackers can create bots that act as command and control centers, sending instructions to compromised systems and receiving stolen data. The encrypted nature of these platforms makes it incredibly difficult for security researchers to intercept or decipher the communication. Another technique is steganography, the art of hiding data within other data. Hackers can embed malicious code within seemingly innocuous image files, audio files, or even social media posts. This hidden code can then be extracted by the compromise system, allowing the hacker to remotely control it without raising any red flags. The ultimate goal for many hackers is to create tools that are entirely self-sufficient, capable of spreading, updating, and even cleaning up after themselves without any human intervention. Think of it like a digital virus, replicating and evolving on its own. To achieve this, hackers are building automation into every aspect of their tools. They're creating auto-spreaders that can automatically scan for and infect vulnerable systems on a network. This allows their creations to spread like wildfire, compromising entire organizations with lightning speed. They're also developing auto-updaters that ensure their tools are always equipped with the latest exploits and techniques. And to cover their tracks, they're building auto-cleaners that wipe away any trace of their presence after they've achieved their objectives. The result is a new breed of hacking tools that are incredibly difficult to detect, contain, and neutralize. The big takeaway here is that hacking in 2025 is a whole different ball game. Hackers aren't just running pre-built scripts anymore. They're engineering sophisticated digital weapons, tailored for stealth, speed, and maximum impact. Whether you're just trying to stay safe online or you're considering a career in cybersecurity, knowledge is your best defense. Understanding how these tools are built, how they operate, and how to defend against them is crucial in this ever-evolving digital landscape. Stay safe out there.